Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Madam Nick Hasrina, Physics Lecturer from College Matriculasi Perak. In this video, I will present Chapter 12 which is about heat conduction and thermal expansion. This video will fulfill for our learning outcome 12.1a, 12.1c and 12.2a. Guys, in this learning outcome 12.1a, I will define heat conduction, whereas for learning outcome 12.1b, it is about craft temperature distance, and the last one is learning outcome 12.2a, which is about thermal expansion. How does energy transfer by heat? Heat can travel from one place to another in three ways conduction, convection, and radiation. Metal is a good conduction of heat. Conduction occurs when a substance is heated. Particles will gain more energy and vibrate more. These molecules then bump into nearby particles and transfer some of their energy to them. Let us define heat conduction. Due to difference of temperature, the energy is transferred from one body to another body. Metal is a good conduction of heat. Conduction occurs when a substance is heated. Then, particles will gain more energy and vibrate more. These molecules then bump into nearby particles and transfer some of their energy to them. The particles become more energetic. This figure shows the particles nearer the flame move faster as they observe heat earlier. Then, these energetic particles transfer its energy to its nearer particles. In other words, the movement of heat from a warmer substance to cooler one. This is technically known as moving down a temperature. This transfer of energy known as heat conduction. Now, let us discuss learning outcome 12.1c. This learning outcome will be cover about temperature distance graph. We have four situations for heat conduction. The first situation is heat conduction along a well-insulated rod. The second one is heat conduction along non-insulated rod. The third one is heat conduction along an insulated combination rods in series. And the fourth one is heat conduction along non-insulated combination rod in series. If the rod is completely covered with a good insulator, no heat lost from the sides of the rod. Along the metal rod, the rod is insulated. When the flame is pointed at the edge of the rod A, the heat is transferred to B. Heat can only flow from higher temperature to lower temperature. There are no heat loss through the side surface of the rod. Heat now is flowing from hot end to the cold end of B. Based on this graph, the temperature decreased uniformly and the temperature also decreased linearly varies along to point B until it reached temperature B1. Next situation is about heat conduction along non-insulated rod. The rod now is fully with metal without any insulator. When the flame is positioned nearer to the point A, the heat energy absorbed, then moving to point B. The heat now is transferred every side along the road. Now, the temperature distance graph becomes curving. This shows that the decreasing of temperature is not uniform due to uncontrolled heat transfer. At the point A, the rod absorbed heat energy more compared to the left side due to uncontrolled heat transfer. 
Alright, the third situation is heat conduction along heat and insulated combination rods in series. Before I explain about that graph, let me introduce about thermal conductivity of a material as well. Basically, it is about a measure of its ability to conduct heat. It is defined as a rate of heat flows perpendicularly through the unit cross-sectional area of a solid per unit temperature gradient along, direct, along the direction of heat flow. A good conductor actually will have higher values of K compared to conductors. Let us come back with graph heat conduction along insulated combination rods in series. In this situation, two rods with different of thermal conductivity combine together in series. What happens when the flame is positioned at the right side? Let us start this discussion from line 1, where K1 is more than K2. In this line 1, the temperature gradually decreases but in linear until end of K1. Then, after heat flow through K2, the temperature decreases largely but in uniform. However, for, what, for line 2, where the values of K1 is less than K2. Graph shows that due to heat transfer through K1, the temperature T3 decreases steeper. Then, after the heat absorbed at K2, the temperature gradually decreases at uniform until reached at T1. Why the temperature gradients are different? Since rod are insulated, no heat loss to surrounding, temperature varies linearly with distance. At this straight line graph, values of K are different, thus the temperature gradients are different for both rods K1 and K2. However, for heat conduction along non-insulated combination rods in series, heat loss to surrounding and temperature decreases non-uniformly with the increasing of distance. Values of K are different, thus the curve are different for both rods. The last learning outcome in this video is 12.2a, Thermal Expansion. Students need to define coefficient of linear, area, and volume thermal expansion. This includes changes in length compared to the original length, called linear expansion, changes in area compared to original area, called aerial expansion or superficial expansion and changes in volume compared to original volume called volumetric expansion or cubicle expansion. Have you ever noticed that small gap in the railway tracks? Why do you think they are there? Or have you ever noticed your mom trying to open up a jam bottle by heating up near its neck? What is this magic all about? Let's find out more about the process of thermal expansion here. Thermal expansion refers to a fractional change in size of a material in response to a change in temperature. There are three types of thermal expansion. We have linear expansion, area expansion, and volume expansion. Guys, you can see expansion simulation through this video. Railroad 
Bracks and bridges have expansion joints to allow them to freely expand and contract with temperature changes. In solid, all types of thermal expansion are occurred. In liquid and gas, only volume expansion is occurred. At the same temperature, the gas expands greater than liquid and solid. Let's consider a thin rod of initial length L0 at temperature T0 is heated to a new uniform temperature. After heated, the rod expands linearly. The changes in length is proportional to its initial length or L0. Whereas the change in length also proportional to the change in temperature, by using the equation, the change of length is equal to coefficient of linear expansion times L0 times change of temperature. This is an example of linear expansion. The metal rod elongates from initial length due to heat absorbed. Look at this animation. Maybe it can help you to understand linear expansion more. Now, let us look definition of coefficient of linear motion or alpha. It is defined as fractional increase in length of a solid per unit rise in temperature. If delta T is negative, then delta L equal to L minus L0 is also negative, so the length decreases. The temperature change is the same in the Kelvin and Celsius scales. This slide is about area expansion. This type of expansion involves the expansion of the surface area of an object. The change in area is proportional to initial area, and the change in area also proportional to the change in temperature. The related equation for the change of area is equal to coefficient of area expansion times initial area times the change of temperature. The symbol for coefficient of area expansion is beta. In figure, it shows a plate with initial area or A0 at temperature T0 is heated to a new uniform temperature T e, and expands by delta A. Next, how about coefficient of area expansion or beta? It is defined as fractional increase in area of a solid surface per unit rise in temperature. Beta is equal to the change in area divided by initial area times the change in temperature. Consider a metal cube with side length L0 is heated and expands uniformly like this figure. The change in volume is equal to coefficient of volume expansion or known as gamma times initial volume times the change in temperature. Coefficient of volume expansion or gamma is defined as a fractional increase in volume of a solid per unit rise in temperature or Gamma is equal to delta V over V0 times delta T. The unit for gamma is per Kelvin or per degree Celsius. When the liquid in a vessel is heated, both liquid and vessel expand in volume. This expansion is called apparent expansion and always less than the true expansion of the liquid. The coefficient of volume expansion of a liquid is defined in the same way as the coefficient of volume of a solid 
where the volume expansion of a liquid, whether true or apparent, depends on the change in density of thermal expansion of a liquid. That's all our video for chapter 12. Thank you for concern.